Today we will be going over the special plates in Rasterlink. Now it's always great to remember which artwork you're starting with. You can actually make special plates with artwork that is in JPEG or um, a raster file or vector. Now you will probably get a better result if you are um, using a vector image, but we will go over that in a minute. So I've brought in a few images here, um, this push pull that I have that is a, a five layer image and we'll go through the options of building our special plates uh, for this file. So here you'll notice that I made sure to name my file uh, that I wanted to use white ink for so that while I'm in Rasherlink I can tell uh, which one of my layers is the actual ink that uh, I'm wanting to use. So after you select the file that you're wanting to make a special plate with you will come over here to the control panel of special plate and we will push that and you will see your options come up. Now you'll see this special color um, come up again there's different special color inks in different machines so most of the time it's white but we also have the option of clear and we have the option of silver in some of our machines as well so of course you will pick the special color of ink that you're wanting to use and these two options here you will see is uh, the amount of density that you're wanting the ink to come out of and so remember that most of the machines that white ink is installed on will have one or two bottles of ink so uh, the UCJV that I'm working from here has two white bottles of ink so you will see the two white channels appear here. The only time I've seen that that is not the case is on the JFX 200 EX. So I like using a 70 percent that gives me really great white coverage as well as saving a little bit of ink. Here in the created area I will show you how both of these work. One is the whole image which will fill the whole artboard with white ink or you can do valid pixel. Valid pixel means that it is only going to put that special color of white ink down where it sees that there is pixels of color. I will go over in a minute how to make sure that your areas of white also are included when you are wanting to use this valid pixel option. So I'm going to uh, select here to create and you will see in my jobs that that comes um, underneath. So that is the special plate. You'll see where the uh, ink is going to be laid down as grayed out here. So when you select your special plate, if you want to go in and change your density here, um, you can at a later time. So for this actual um, job I'll show you what the whole image um, option uh, gives you. So if I push create while I'm using the whole image option then you'll see this come up here which will flood your artboard with white. So that's the two different options that you have in special color where it is the whole image or the valid pixel. So now we have used two special plates in compositing this five layer print here. So we'll go down and we'll talk about uh, this other file here. Uh, one of my favorite files to be able to use because again you can definitely see the area of artwork here. So if we're going to want to put um, a special plate of white behind this 
Now remember, in this file, I do not have any pixels of color in my white areas. So be mindful of what your artwork is like when you go to use this valid pixel option. I'll show you here. So if we are going to create this, you'll see that in my special plate, in the option I've used for the valid pixel, there is no pixel of color in my white areas. So what I like to do in this case is make sure that when I'm building a file that I know I'm going to use the valid pixel option on or if I'm going to want to print on clear media and back lay my color with some white ink, be sure that you're going in and selecting the white areas in your artwork and adding at least one pixel of color. I like to use one pixel of black ink. That way um, I'm not getting a color shift to yellow or to pink in those areas. Um, you will not see any difference in your color but it will allow the uh, program Rasterlink to see at least one pixel of color so that it is adding um, white ink behind um, everywhere you're actually wanting it to or like I did previously with this file up here you're going to build a separate layer in your artwork and you can fill it here like I have with this yellow to control exactly where your um, special plate is going to put white ink. So that's some good options.